Right now at four, we are under a weather impact alert as we continue to track Hurricane Helene and its impact across the state. Right now, you are taking a live look over Decatur where you can see we have already had some rain across the area today. Uh, we want to go ahead and let you know that we do have team coverage for you here at four o'clock. Our Karis Belger will be showing us how Georgia Power is getting ready for potential power outages. That's right. Molly Oak is in Cobb County with crews that are working to clean storm and sewer drains in preparation. But first, we want to get you straight to meteorologist Melissa Nord. Melissa, it is looking a little nasty out there. Yeah, you know, this is not even the main course. Helene is yet to come. What we're dealing with today is rain from another front that is stalled over North Georgia. Helene itself is now a hurricane. The winds are 80 miles per hour, but that won't make landfall until tomorrow night. So the impacts we're seeing right now, not related to Helene, but equally as important to talk about because this is going to lead to flooding. What's happening right now? and that's going to set the stage for even more flooding as we see Helene's rain pushing into North Georgia. Big picture right now on live radar. We've got this area of heavy rain, which is moving northeastward, but kind of stalled on top of the metro and into northeast Georgia. We did have a severe thunderstorm warning and tornado warning earlier up near uh, Habersham County and also Raven County. Those have since expired. That's great news, but still a lot of heavy rain, some lightning strikes there. We did get some pretty big golf ball size hail in uh, Habersham County earlier and now in the metro it's all about this rain which has been falling for several hours leading to already standing water and ponding water on the roadways. So we had been very dry for several days straight. Max has been a dry month but now all this rain's coming down and as the rain continues we're going to see flooding issues starting to add up. All right, let's go east of the city into Newton County and also near Conyers. We've got one thunderstorm here, really heavy rain rates along I-20. Those rain rates are in excess of about an inch an hour. Lightning strikes on that as well. And you can see big picture. This is not from Helene. It's tropical moisture working in ahead of a stalled front. Then as we get into tomorrow night, Helene itself will pass through North Georgia. You notice this is going to make landfall as a major hurricane category three as it's pushing into North Georgia because it's moving so quickly. It is still a tropical storm. So we have a tropical storm watch for the first time here since October 27th of 2020 when Zeta passed through and left 1 million without power. Before we even get to the strong winds, we've got four to eight inches of rain coming to North Georgia. Locally, those amounts could be higher than we add on top of that. The strong wind gusts. 40 to 60 miles per hour and on the east side of the track we'll be watching out for that risk of tornadoes as well. Tropical storm watch in effect now. We'll see this upgraded to a warning sometime later tonight. We'll break down hour by hour how this is all going to play out. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. We'll talk about that coming up in my next segment.